No, there's not. There's nothing else in that bag. Is that a snag? <laughs> Welcome to another video. My name is Lainey. For those who did not know, I am praying that I am in focus today and I post videos every Friday and I've been trying to post some uh, YouTube shorts every Tuesday. So technically I post twice a week. Anyways, today we are going to be doing an unboxing video. I kind of debated on and off if I wanted to make this because uh, I moved yesterday, 16 hours in the car, moving all of my stuff off out of my dorm room. And um, I know it looks very nice on screen right now, but literally I cannot see the floor because I, it's just boxes and boxes of stuff. And this was such a nightmare to set up. <laughs> like I am going to be completely shocked if my lights don't fall down because they look like they're on the verge of collapsing right now. But I really wanted to get this video done. I felt really bad because like I was supposed to get uh, like photos of these dresses that I'm about to unbox and send them to this company and I got really busy. I turned in a 129 page business paper. I had a final presentation. I had four finals in a row and then I had to move all of my stuff because I'm getting ready to move to Paris soon and bring it back home in a 16 hour road trip. So. Today is the day after I move and I just need to get this done and I I felt really bad so I was like, okay, we're gonna make a video. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be, I should probably be unpacking instead, which was originally my plan but also I need more content to post and you know, killing two birds with one stone. Let's get started, let's hop right into this review. So this review is for a very, very small company called Pick the Star Official which is just starting out. They reached out to me when their Instagram page was brand new and they gave me this really nice speech about how they just want to make they just want to make J fashion available to everyone really easily at affordable prices and I was like, okay, well, what are those prices? So I price checked the dresses that they sell in accordance to AliExpress, for example, where you could get the same wholesale dresses and they were just about the same price and I was like, okay, you know, that's fair. Hi friends, Lainey from the future here. I just wanted to give you a quick update. So it turns out Pick the Star actually completely raised their price by quite a lot. About a month ago when I first checked them out, I cross-checked the prices of about four, five, I think four different dresses and I compared them to the prices on AliExpress to see how they compared. All of them were within the same price range. The blue dress, for example, that I'm about to unbox, yeah, that sold for about $22 on Pick the Star, and you can see it was about the same on AliExpress, and now they doubled the price. It's the same for every other dress that I went back and I cross-referenced for. They, at a minimum, doubled the price from what they were four weeks ago when they first started their company. So I just wanted to let you know and I just wanted to be really transparent that when I filmed this yesterday I was under the impression that they were still on par price ranges with the same margins as AliExpress but now it does look like they raised their prices for those bigger margins and I just wanted to let you know. Anyways, enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you. Their customer service was extremely, extremely nice and I was like, yeah, you know, I'll work with you. So we're gonna be unboxing some of their dresses today. Well, actually they asked me if I wanted to review two dresses in specific, but they had this one dress that I've been wanting ever since I saw Moonlight Ellen wear it. I was like, can I actually get this one, please? And they were like, yeah, no problem. And I was like, okay, you're now my favorite person in the entire universe. That's a hint as to what the dress is, by the way. I'm really, really excited because this is a dress I've been wanting for so long. And uh, just to set the record straight too, so Pick the Star right now has only wholesale dresses on their website. And what that means is that these Lolita dresses are not connected to any brand in specific. You buy them as wholesale, which means you own that merchandise. It's not connected to any brand. They're mass produced dresses. They're typically at lower price points and lower quality than, you know, a angelic pretty dress would be or a Yolanda or honey honey dress would be. It's going to be lower quality. I'm thinking it's going to be on par with body line or with my whale continuous whale by Frisia tail dress that I unboxed in my double inspired video. 
Um, so that's what I'm thinking quality wise it's gonna be like, but we will see. And um, I just want to say too, I looked at basically every dress that they have up when they first reached out to me to make sure that none of them were replicas. If they do start selling replicas, I will update the description box, but right now they are all wholesale dresses. Just want to make that clear, they're all wholesale dresses when I'm making this video. If that changes, I'll update it down below. And I just want to point out to you a quick trick to double check and make sure that they're wholesale and not replicas, is you can actually just take a screenshot of the dress that they have promoted and then you can upload that photo into AliExpress or into the Tabo app under the little photo icon and then you can see if it pops up. And if it pops up absolutely everywhere, that's a good sign that it is a wholesale dress. <laughs> uh, wholesale dresses, again, aren't connected to any brand names, so they're just mass-produced items. <laughs> I, I'm sorry for like repeating myself, I just want to make it really clear. Okay, um, so as I was saying, they take all of their own photos for their items, which means that they do own the merchandise because, you know, wholesale. And I really like that because sometimes wholesale photos are like not the best. They remind me of like body line photos where you can't really make out the details. So I do really appreciate them uh, like setting it up on their own dress forms and taking photos. We first started corresponding on March 29th. They said shipping takes between one to four weeks, which was, I was like, okay, awesome. This should arrive, you know, like a week before finals. I should be fine, which I was not fine. And now I'm filming it way later. So then it was sent out on April 1st is the day that it was sent out on. It arrived May 1st. So it took a full four weeks to get here. So let's open this bad boy up. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited. So we're going to start off with the dress I'm not as excited for, although I'm very excited for both of these. This one really reminds me of Alice in Wonderland, which I'm so excited for. They recommended that I get this one, and this was one that I thought was pretty cute anyway, so I was like, heck yeah, we can. Awesome. It's like just in a, oh, I should do it to this side. It's just in a plastic baggie, like a wig bag, like a plastic wig bag. There's no branding or anything on it. Is there any branding at all? No, there's not. There's nothing else in that bag. There's no thank you cards. There's no business cards or anything like that. So that's a little bit strange, but they are a new business. So maybe they'll include branding in future packages. And if they are watching this video, I highly recommend putting in some type of branding so people remember who you are, what your brand name is, all of that fun stuff. Oh, that kind of spilled all over when I took it out. Okay, <laughs> gotta figure out how to undo this. So the there is a brand tag in this. The brand tag in this says Molisha, M-U-L-I-S-H-A. I definitely did not pronounce that right. There's a tag attached to it, which it looks like washing instructions. It's just washing instructions that are attached. I believe this is a size medium that I ordered, which is the typical size I wear for Lolita. It is very, very cute. The sailor's collar does not match though. Yeah, this is basically the quality I was expecting to. This is an empire waist dress, but this looks like it's going to go above my chest. So that's gonna be a really interesting fit. Okay, let's start actually looking at the quality. We'll start with the sailor's collar. I wish I knew what type of material this was. I'm completely blinking on the name. It's really soft though. All the edges are simply surged. We have like a little bit of ruffle at the edge, which isn't finished too nicely. The front bow is the same kind of argyle pattern. Yeah, there is no lining in it. Is that a snag? No, it's not. It's just a weird crease. And then we have these really cute sleeves and these are also just surged on the inside. The sleeves aren't super well sewn together. The edges don't really match up. This looks really small. Okay, my hand does fit through. I have really tiny hands and like super, super tiny wrists. So <laughs> thankfully that fits for me, but for people with like average sized hands and average sized wrists that may be very tight. We have this tulle overskirt with some lace on the edge. The tulle is not finished, that's interesting but that looks pretty cute. And then at the edge of this, we have two rows, rows, two rows of ruffles with the same kind of sheer white fabric that's just surged. 
If we look at the waist highs, they are kind of boring. The fabric's really soft, but they're just the sheer same fabric again. And it's just like not stitched together super nicely, so it is about what I would expect for a dress of this quality. And I do not see any zipper. Oh, there is no zipper on here. And uh, as you can see, this is going to be a very tough fit. You know what? Let's go try to put this on. Wish me luck, please, because I don't know if this will fit. <laughs> oh my god, I actually got that on really easily. Oh, I need to put on a wig, don't I? <laughs> Whoops. Okay, almost got it tied. I hate tying stuff behind my back. Does anyone else struggle with this? Please tell me I'm not the only one. Yes, it fits so weird. Like, it's on the middle of my chest where this seam is. Just really strange. I keep wanting to like pull it down, but there's no way it'll fit. Nope. I love this. This is so cute. Okay. But anyways, this is adorable. I really need to steam it. Um, I don't trust an iron on this, but it's actually like not that sheer. Like you can definitely tell I'm wearing a black petticoat under it, but it's not as sheer as I thought it would be, which is good. But definitely if you wear it, wear white petticoat underneath one of these guys, because this is very sheer. This, the like... This is not under my breasts. It's literally laying on top of them, which feels like really strange when I first put it on, but I'm starting to get used to used to it. I don't even know what this waistline is called because isn't an empire waist under the breasts? So if you know what this is called, let me know. I'm personally super sensitive to long sleeve fabrics. They really, I like cannot wear pants and I can't wear long sleeve shirts because of like sensory things. So I was a little bit worried, but this is honestly so light and breezy that it doesn't bother me. I'm sure in like an hour, I'm gonna be like, oh my God, please get this off my body. But as of right now, I barely notice it. I think the sleeve length actually isn't that bad. Uh, when you stretch your arms out, yeah, it is maybe four inches short, but when they're down at my, like, sides, um, then they, like, fit perfect, but they are a tiny bit, tiny bit short, so just be wary of that. And then the blue in this is not, like, it's a really weird shade of sex that I have no accessories that match. It's almost a periwinkle. It's, well, it is, it's a periwinkle with just a little bit more of a blue tint to it, so this is going to be very, very hard to match in a way that looks flattering. So I paired it with my Yolanda beret because that's the closest match I could find. But I will be on the lookout for accessories. And if you have anything that would match this, please let me know. Oh, let me mention too that this does accommodate my hoop and my regular petty. So it, it has a giant full skirt and the shape of it is so nice. It's really, really cute. Altogether for like the price that this is, if this is something you're into, I don't think it's a bad deal. Obviously, it would be cheaper through Taobao, but if you're not comfortable using Taobao, I actually really like this. I think it's really cute and light. I don't know if I would wear this to any meets, but if I did wear it to meets, it would probably be more adventurous ones, like going ice skating or going out and painting or something like that, since it is, you know, easily replaceable, it's pretty cheap and um, it is really light. So let's move on to the package that I am most excited for. This one, <laughs> it's a purple dress. I already own two purple dresses, but purple is my favorite color. Oh my God, silky, completely different fabric. Also, this is not nicely packaged at all in this bag, which is really funny. It looks like they just kind of like folded it up and shoved it in there. This one is a free size dress, so it is not like according to a size guide. It's just, you know, shearing on the back, hope it fits. That is really stretchy. Holy crap, look at that stretch. Oh my god, I've been looking forward to this dress for so long. This is awesome quality. This is way better quality than the one I have on right now. It's so silky, wow. Okay, well, this is wrinkled as heck, but look at the cat astronauts! The cat astronauts! I was always hesitant to buy this off of my own money because of the quality. I was like, oh, it's wholesale. I don't know if it's gonna be that good, but this is like surprisingly nice. This is definitely nicer than my um, continuous whale dress by Frisia Tail. Okay, let's look at the bodice. Uh, so the straps on this have this really cute lace. They are adjustable. There are two different sizes for the straps. Really good start so far. Yep, they have little buttonholes to adjust them. 
The stitching is actually decent on them. There's a little bit of frayed stuff. There's lace aligning the top of the bodice with a little bow. And the bow is like really strange. It is not even at all. And it's uh, stitched down, which is interesting. Oh, well now I got it even after messing with it, but. We have three plastic buttons on them, which are really cute, and another bow, which is like stitched down really awkwardly. Uh, we have two layers of lace, too, coming off the front, which is just adorable. God, this dress is so, so soft. It is not... Wait, oh my god, it is lined. It's lined! What?! This dress is lined on the inside. I'm so excited. You can see the stitching through the lining, like they stitched through the lining, which isn't what you're supposed to do in garment construction, but I won't give them too hard of a time for it because I'm really excited. There is a brand tag on here and it says S-U-N-N-Y, Sunny. And then we are going to go down to the bottom of it. We have these two layers of tan tulle, which are just surged. And then we have another layer of kind of this rose lace, which I see a lot in wholesale dresses and body line dresses is this like rose lace. And there is an underskirt underneath this too. The print itself is so vibrant. It's so beautiful. Oh my God. We just got our like space cat ships, cat ships, space, no, our cat space ships. It's so cute, and the constellations, cats in space. I'm so sorry, I've been wanting this dress for so long. Thank you so much to Moonlight Ellen for introducing me to this dress, because now I finally own it, and it's adorable. And we have like cat astronauts too. I'm so, I need to put this on right, right now. Otherwise I am going to explode. Oh my God, it's so cute. It's so cute. Okay, I gotta go put this on. I'll be right back. Thank you. Okay, I'm literally screaming right now. Um, I just went back on a different day to get some like videos of this dress. And when I, I tore it, I tore it right in the armpit because I couldn't get it off there's no zipper I couldn't get it off and oh my god yeah this was so rough to get off especially with makeup on my face because I didn't want to get makeup on the dress so I was trying to pull it away from my face and I just took out a seam trying to get it off oh, so definitely size up in this holy crap that tore so easy so hello here we are here is the dress I'm sorry, I've wanted this dress for so long and I am like not disappointed in it. The one thing I do have to say though is again, this is not sitting under my chest. It's trying to write up. It looks really stretchy in the back, but this is like really compressing my chest down. It's like very, very tight. So I don't know what's up with that, but it's very wrinkled, but it is so, so cute. I'm gonna be wearing this all the time, everywhere. I ended up pairing it with some pink accessories because I need purple accessories. Please, please send me some purple accessories that you think I would like because I need more. Um, I don't own any purple berets, so that needs to change. It's not the same shade as purple as my angelic pretty or my continuous whale dress. It is like kind of a dark grayish, bluish purple, and then it slowly transitions into more of a like purpley pink, and then more into this like magenta, like a dull magenta. So I ended up choosing pink because there are some like just pink highlights in the dress, but I think this would look really cute if you paired it with like some yellow accessories, which again, I don't own any yellow accessories. Needs to change, but oh, it's so cute. You cannot see the black petticoat underneath it at all. Anyways, I just want to give once again a huge thank you for Pick the Star for sending me these two dresses to take photos in. I hope you like this video. I know you're not aware that I'm making it, but highly recommend getting this one if you like cats in space because this is absolutely adorable. Pick the Star always has some promotions going on too. Um, I will put whatever promotion is going on right now when I upload the video in the description box. I may forget to update them, but just check out their Instagram page and they're always posting about like free shipping or discounted accessories or something like that. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because I've been informed by a lot of you that no one gets notifications for my videos anymore. So that would really help me out. And uh, thank you so much for watching. 
Have a good day.